Bonnie's 29th birthday party. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep this up. She's 46. Here, we brought you guys an orchid from Trader Joe's because we don't know or care about any of your interests. Well, I put together some videos for Bonnie's party. Here we are on our honeymoon. Better wrap it up, honey. Tide's coming in. Well, let's break for presents, but after that, I'll show you Susie's birth video, and I'll tell you, she fell out of there like an orange out of an old dress sack. Kind of weird they're keeping all our jackets in the tub. <laughs> Bonnie? I told you, Joe, when we're alone, you can call me Bonald. No, no, it's me, Brian. Is that your real name? I mean, are you are you okay? Sorry, am I allowed on the bed? I guess so. What's wrong? Nothing. I have something in my eye. And now you feel like you never had a chance to be your true self. Yeah. I know just how you feel. I mean, I'm happy that Peter found me and gave me a home, but sometimes I wonder if I'd be happier on my own. Exactly. It's like sometimes I feel... Trapped? No. I was going to say, like, the Von Trapps. You know, unable to leave their home in Austria. Oh. Well, that still is remarkably close. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't mean... No, it's okay. Um, I'd better go downstairs before Joe realizes I'm gone. And before Peter gets into the stuff that's not for the party. Ah, Halloween! Oh, come on in. Peter, Joe and Bonnie are here for game night. Game night? Yeah, I figured it was the least we could do since you pulled up a beheading video on your phone at their party and showed it to everyone. It was really more about how loud my phone can get. Peter, we're doing this. <sighs> All right. But the operation game is out of battery, so I'll have to make the noise. <clears throat> you hear that? That's the sound of bad surgery. Oh. Hey. Uh, hi, Brian. Um, listen about the other night. You haven't told anyone, have you? No, no, of course not. I, I was going to ask if you had. Hey, Brian, can you bring me up a snack? I'm supposed to be in bed. Look, the other night was great, but it was a mistake. You're right. Oh. But I felt it, too. But maybe in another life, huh? <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. This could never work. Like porn movies before sound. I think that's uh, time. Your your turn is over. Oh, sounds like uh, sounds like dog kisses crippled guy's wife at your party. Wait, wait, I know it. The other night at your party, Brian kissed Bonnie. What? <gasps> Bonnie, is this true? Oh my God. I know. Making out with a dog? Can you even imagine a woman who possibly does that for real? Uh, hi, Joe. Hi, Brian. Look, I, I want to apologize for what happened. I I didn't mean to kiss Bonnie. Everybody had a little too much to drink. It, it just happened. I hope we're still cool. Hey, don't worry about it. It was a crazy party. We ran out of salsa. <laughs> How do you run out of salsa? Anyway, we're good. What? No! What's he doing? My car was parked legally. <sighs> well, maybe your car violated some sort of unspoken boundary. One that nobody bothers to codify because it's just common decency. Hey, Joe, is that the guy? Read your text, Jerry. Not supposed to say you know me. Well, I hope your day gets better, Brian, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> hey, Brian, I uh, know that things have been awkward between us, but just to show you there's no hard feelings, can I buy you a drink? You know what? Sure. Thanks. Oh. What the hell happened? How do I walk? Are these forever? I also rub my butt on you. Only one. They don't get us, Bonnie. And you deserve better than this. We both do. You know what? Let's get out of here. Wow, we are zero for two on interventions today. Ah, <sighs> we did it. 
We don't need those narrow-minded losers. This is so exciting. We can finally live the lives we've always wanted. Like, I can finally start my jewelry design business making earrings for tweens. Listen, hear that? That is the sound of not making an enormous mistake. I think I hear it. <sighs> She's really gone. And she took little Susie with her. I miss that baby more than anything. No, oh, I guess you left it here. Joe, I want you to know, I will not support that relationship. It'll be weird to be best man and not dance. And I'd have to give a toast and say that Bonnie's the best thing that ever happened to him. You know, she is the best thing that ever happened to him. But don't worry, Joe, I'll only refer to you as Bonnie's ex. You know, like, Bonnie has an ex, but Brian marks the spot. Oh, Peter, that's good. Thanks, babe. I hope Brian and Bonnie are as happy as us. To Brian and Bonnie! News. The teenage runaways at Table 4 were not big tippers. We just need enough money to get to Taos. That's like the capital of making and selling your own jewelry. Okay, enough about the jewelry. Do you even know how to make it? I know how to make jewelry. I just don't know how to make the metal go into shapes. Hey, you know what would be great? If you could talk with even a little bit of inflection to your voice so it doesn't sound so much like a... Power Sander? Screw you! You tweet things that aren't worth tweeting! I'm panting! That's how I sweat, you dumb bitch! No, it isn't! Dogs sweat through their paws! You're such a know-it-all, Brian! You don't even know about your own body! At least I've had an orgasm! <laughs> wow. I am sorry. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work. Like couples who meet on Craigslist. <laughs> See, if I make under 20 grand for 20 years, my film school debt just goes away. That's a government rule. Bonnie? Joe? How did you find me? Love is a powerful compass. Anytime I quiet my mind and clear my heart, it always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide-and-seek. I'm sorry if you've had to put your dreams on hold because of me. Oh, Joe. But I'm here to fight for you, Bonnie. And if you're willing to come back home, I promise I'll spend the rest of my days taking care of you, just the way you've always taken care of me. Of course I want to come home, Joe. I love you. Oh, damn it! Hey, Bri, came to try that apple pie you were texting.